Welcome to Bible Vlog. My name is Philip Fisher. Today is December 30th, 2009. And I am going to be reading James chapter 2, verses 1 through 13 today. I'm going to be reading from the message. So follow along if you dare. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, <clears throat> my dear friends, don't let public opinion influence how you live out our glorious Christ-originated faith. If a man enters your church wearing an expensive suit and a street person wearing rags comes in right after him, and you say to the man in the suit, sit here, sir, this is the best seat in the house, and either ignore the street person or say, better sit here in the back row. Haven't you segregated God's children and proved that you are judges who can't be trusted? Listen, dear friends, isn't it clear by now that God operates quite differently? He chose the worlds down and out as the kingdom's first citizens with full rights and privileges. This kingdom is promised to anyone who loves God, and here you are abusing these same citizens. Isn't it the high and mighty who exploit you, who use the courts to rob you blind? Aren't they the ones who scorn the new name Christian used in your baptism? You do well when you complete the rule, the royal rule of the scriptures. Love others as you love yourself. But if you play up to these so-called important people, you go against the rule and stand convicted by it. You can't pick and choose things. You can't pick and choose in these things, specializing in keeping one or two things in God's law and ignoring others. The same God who said don't commit adultery also said don't murder. If you don't commit adultery but go ahead and murder, do you think that your non-adultery just cancels out your murder? No. You're a murderer, period. Talk and act like a person expecting to be judged by the rule that sets us free. For if you refuse to act kindly, you can hardly expect to be treated kindly. Kind mercy wins over harsh judgment every time. I really like those last two sentences where it says, if you refuse to act kindly, you can hardly expect to be treated kindly. And kind mercy wins over ju harsh judgment every time. Um, yeah, I mean, that's like a part of what Make Love Life, the nonprofit organization that I've started, deals with. It's just acting kindly to people and to have kind mercy instead of harsh judgment. Um, so I hope that you guys got a lot from this. I hope that you guys are having um, a great day so far and that it just continues to get better. better blah, 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 blah. That it just continues to get better and better. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.